Hi, in this video today we're going to be installing a screen protector on an iPhone 7. Now the one we're going to be using is made by Tech21 and it's an Impact Shield Self Heal. It was very expensive, it was just under 20 UK pounds and I don't know if it's going to perform any better than the screen protector for 4 or 5 pounds. But the reason I went for the more expensive one is purely because most people with iPhones tend to have cracked screens, they crack really easily. So I want to do everything I can to minimise the chances of cracking that screen. I appreciate even with a screen protector on, and if you drop it onto a sharp stone, it's gonna crack anyway. But I thought I'd go for a slightly better one, just for peace of mind. Whether it is better or not, I don't know. It could be just marketing. But here it is here, let me just show you the box. And you can pause it and read it in your own time. You also get a little applicator included, so it's little things like that that bump up the price, but hopefully it means it's easier to install. Right, so that's the applicator. So we basically put that onto the iPhone after we've cleaned it all up and then we can just place down the screen protector on top of it. So it's just a kind of guide to rest the screen protector on. So basically what we're gonna be doing is cleaning the phone, putting the applicator on and then peeling number one. It's labeled one and two. So we're gonna peel number one and that's gonna go face down on the phone. So it's gonna be two that's gonna be at the top and then press it down, take the applicator off and then we can get out any air bubbles and then peel number two off and then hopefully it will be a nice clean install. Right, so here we only get the one screen protector so we've got to make sure we get this right and it looks like we get a little cleaning cloth and also a little squeegee to rub out any air bubbles. The bit that peeled off the back here says that it was designed in England and Germany and manufactured in Korea. So hopefully the quality will be pretty good. Right, so I've already given the phone a good clean prior to this video and it's a new phone anyway, so it hasn't accumulated much dust or grime in any of the nooks and crevices. But I'm just gonna rub it over here with this here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the phone off because otherwise every time we press it, it's gonna uh, start pressing the buttons and also it's easier to see how clean it is when the screen is completely blank. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this cleaning bit. Now it's really important to get every little bit of dust off because even one tiny little speck of dust will actually show up because the screen won't be able to lie flat on it and then it will show as a tiny air bubble and your eye will always be drawn to that. Right, before we go any further, I just want to measure up just to see what it's kind of going to look like. So it doesn't go to the very edge of the phone. It actually only doesn't even quite cover the whole screen. But I suppose that is going to be quite useful because then when I put this case on, this is my daughter's phone and she wants this case on it. If it was to go right to the very edge, maybe it might foul on the case. But you get an idea there. It's going to be on like that. And as well, I suppose it can't go to the edge because if you have a look at the side of the iPhone, it is ever so slightly curved. But you can get other brands that go right the way it replaces the whole of the front of it. It's got like the button and everything covered over. Right, that looks to be nice and clean. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get this guide and I'm gonna slot it on the bottom here. Okay, so that goes on it like so. Make sure it's pushed fully all the way up. Really the most important thing is making sure that it is completely clean. Right, I'm happy with that. So now what we're gonna do is follow the instructions and it says here to peel off number one. So I'm gonna Peel off number one without touching. Right, 
without touching that side here because otherwise I'm going to get a dirty fingerprint on it. And now I need to line this up against here, like so, and let it drop down. Actually that was surprisingly easy. As you can see, it's slowly spreading out. So I'm just going to leave it do its thing before I put any pressure on it. You can see that it's still moving ever so slightly along. Right, I'm going to give it a little bit of a helping hand. Right, these ones are refusing to go and it could be because the guide here might be stopping them from going down. So there you go, pull that down and you can see now it's just suddenly gone across. It looks like we've just got two tiny ones here. So I'm just going to get the squeegee. Try to flatten them ones out. Right, okay, that's actually gone on really nice, and believe it or not, that guide really does work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give it a good rub all over, and then when I'm definitely happy with it, I can then take off the number two here, and that should be it. Right, that has actually gone on perfect, and I can't see any air bubbles on that at all. So let's peel that off there. There we go. That has come out absolutely perfect. Right, I have done quite a few screen protectors in the past and normally there's always one or two tiny little issues on it but that really has come out good. So I don't know whether that was just luck or whether it is a very good product. Right, let's turn it on and see how it performs. Right, it appears to work fine. I feel a tiny little bit more sticky than before. That might be because we've got a little bit of residue left over from these. Let me just give it a good wipe. It just seems to be a bit of friction when I'm swiping from left to right. Yeah, I think that's getting better. Yeah, I definitely think there's a little bit more it's not quite as smooth as it was before, but I suppose that's the price you're going to have to pay. But as far as it making the screen dull or anything, I can't tell the difference. And really, when it's on, you can only tell if you look at around the home button here. When you're looking at the screen, you can't tell any difference. So you can just see the cutouts, where it's cut out around it. And I suppose over time, there might get a little bit of uh, dirt around the edge here, so it might become more noticeable over time. Yeah, but as far as the screen's concerned, it looks absolutely perfect. Well, let's see if it's going to fit in this case here. I can't see it will have any problems because it's actually pushed in quite a bit from the actual screen. So there we go. That's the case that my daughter wanted on it. And if you have a look there now, you can't really tell that that screen protector's on. So although it was £20, although it was expensive, I am actually completely happy with that. And I think that I would recommend that because it just went on so easy.
So my only slight criticism would be that the screen protector doesn't quite cover the whole screen. Not that it's really going to matter for protection wise because the odds of getting a, a stone or something bashing it on this part is going to be relatively slim. It's just that if it was just a millimetre bigger then it would cover the portion of the screen so your eye wouldn't be drawn to it so much. So on both sides I can see it just comes a little bit short but I presume that's to allow for the cases that maybe curve round a little bit more. But anyway, it's gone on real nice. Probably the easiest screen protector I have done to date. So I'm very happy with that. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos. Take care. Bye now.